Hi guys, I'm back to continue the lecture that we were already discussing. So we've discussed in detail the importance of business ethics. We very well know that it means to avoid the negative implications. It helps in the making decisions that create positive impacts. It steers away from unjust outcomes. It earns customer loyalty. It saves billions on lawsuits. Uh, pillars of strategic planning and strategic thinking is also dependent upon the business ethics. And then the base for uh, you know, and the, the base for basically continuity in a business relationship is also very important, which is based again on the business ethics. Then employees performance, if you're going to have business ethics in your organization, everyone, all employees would understand the importance of this and they would know that they have to behave in a certain way and they can't do anything that is going to be bad for the organization because so all of these things, all of these are the essence of the business ethics uh, ethics, and it tells you how business ethics are important in the society it tells you how business ethics are you know crucial when it comes to any business it, when it comes to starting any business because you you have to understand that when you have started the business you need to make sure that you have a balance between your interest and the interest of the society as a whole interest of the people that are involved in the business so i've already explained this to you uh, multiple times right so I've told you that there has to be uh, some sort of balance that needs to be maintained there has to be some kind of you know dignified behavior that is going on in the organization and should not be just about money 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 right moving on to the most important and critical aspect of this lecture that we were we have to start is the stages and development of ethical standards in the business it is very important because the entire topic that was was this topic stages in development of ethical standards in business which i'll try to you know uh wind up in this lecture and i'll t try to give you as much knowledge as i can uh you know according to my understanding and my knowledge and i would really want you people to also leave your comments in the comment section let me know how much you learned so that you know we can improve the lectures together for future so as i told you this they, these are stages in the development of ethical standards in the business now the thing is that uh, the previous slides that were actually giving you an overview of what we have discussed in the previous lectures as well so that once you have reached this topic now i'm sure everyone has remembered and everyone has thorough information of what ethical standards are everyone knows that you know uh, what is business ethics? Everyone knows what are ethics and not and unethical behavior. What are stages? Everything has been clear to you all, so that there's a now you can easily create a link between these two, these two to three concepts. So now let's start with the first point that what are the stages in the development of ethical standards in a business? The first one is simple obedience. That is conduct to avoid punishment. Now what does that mean? When I talk about simple obedience, it means that a person's behavior is driven by simplistic concerns such as fear of punishment or a quick appraisal of the immediate benefits to be obtained. So he knows that there is some sort of fear of punishment or a quick appraisal for any immediate action that can be taken. If you are drawing any immediate benefits for your sake, you, you should not forget as an employee or as any person that you know your behavior it should be driven by simplistic concerns because there should be always a fear of punishment or a quick appraisal that needs to be there so that stops you for do, from doing anything wrong that stops you from you know taking wrong measures and that as a whole when you stop that and you know that okay this is wrong this is right and this is what i have to do so that is mean that means that you're setting the first stage to the ethical standards in the business like you, this is the step when you realize that there is a simple obedience there and you know that you have to follow whatever has been directed to you and you as an employee your duty is to basically uh, you know fulfill your the commandments of the company of the employer and you need to make sure that you are fulfilling your duties and not lying not invo getting involved in fraudery fraud theft or any sort of uh, disloyal behavior dishonest behavior so this is something which is extremely important the second point that i have for you people is conformity to group behavior actions to get personal rewards so a person's behavior is constrained by their interpretation of social norms and their desire to be perceived as a good person now i ask you generally let's forget about the business right whenever a person behavior it is constrained or it is basically uh, changed or motivated by their interpretation of social norms so you need to understand that this is something which needs to be there you need to understand that there should be an interpretation of the social norms for yourself you should have a definition of what is right and what is wrong in your view when you know that that okay i know what is right and what is wrong 
so as and you know what kind of person you are are you a good person are you a bad person you very well know how to take it ahead right so there is a conformity to group behavior and you know a person's behavior is constrained by their interpretation of social norms and their desire to be perceived as a good person that is how you set the similar rules uh, you know the rules approach that you are fo following uh, this is the rules approach basically this can be described as a follow the rules approach a person's behavior is constrained by their interpretation of social norms and their desires to be perceived as a good person which tells them to set up some norms and write some rules for themselves and these rules are also the stage of the ethical standards and then these rules they compile together to be become a group behavior that is uh, you know uh, th that is against to gain personal rewards for the sake of compromising the ethical norms of the business so that is very important then we have the third and very important point that i want you to just drive your attention is good boy or good girl orientation conduct to avoid dislike and rejection now this is a very important point i want you to first read it and then i'll explain it i'll read it with you so a more complex behavior that tends to be concerned with the relationship of the individual to society as a whole rather than local or institutional values a person's actions reflect universal principles and consideration of uh, of and respect for different perspectives so good boy or good girl orientation conduct to avoid dislike and rejection is like everyone has their own statements and everyone has their own uh, you know uh, desire to understand things everyone thinks or sees things in a different manner everyone have different perspectives this is something which is very important so i want everyone to understand this i'm going to read it again so that it just goes in your mind and then i'm going to explain it to you reading it again good boy or good girl orientation conduct to avoid dislike and rejection a more complex behavior that tends to be concerned with the relationship of the individual to the society as a whole rather than local or institutional values so when when they are talking about good boy and good girl approach they are saying that there this is a more complex behavior because it's more concerned with the relationship of that individual to the society that okay how is the good boy how is the good girl so, okay rather than local or institutional values so you need to be there you need to have a institutional values yourself so there's nothing no such thing as good girl or good boy all right everyone has their own perspective own definition you cannot comment on someone so the conductive word dislike and rejection should be negated you cannot just tell that okay in this office this is a good girl and this is a bad boy no you're not going to tell that because you don't know the complex behaviors you don't know their perspectives so person's actions reflect universal principles and consideration of and respect for different perspectives so if you are an ethical person you are going to show respect uh, and consideration for different perspectives for different religions for example if you're you're working with some different religion people you would need to show respect and you need to show respect for their different perspectives and that is how you're going to put a stage of ethical development now good boy good girl if a girl is a you know maybe a christian and i said okay she's a very good girl because she's a christian but the boy if boy is for example you know a hindu or any other religion and you're saying that the boy is not up to us is not like us because we're a uh we're a, you know american company for example no you have to have that leverage you have to have that leverage for that person you have to live, have that leverage for your company that you have a company that is respecting all people or of all race all kinds all thoughts so there is nothing such as good boy or a good girl all right moving on i hope all these points are clear these were one two three of the stages of uh, the uh, ethical standards that i discussed with you moving on let's go to the next one i think this is the most important and the last slide that we have for this lecture but it's going to take some time to understand so i want everyone to pay attention again stages in development of ethical standards in business it continues social contract driven abiding by rules to maintain the common ground largely based on leg legalistic or contractual orientation interactions are viewed as transactional in nature and based on rules so let me tell you one thing we have discussed that okay you you have should have simple obedience you should have a group behavior obedience you should there is nothing such as good boy or good girl you should respect everyone but there is this one thing that is a social contract driven 
values that needs to be maintained on the common ground so that that basically involves a legalistic or contractual orientation that you have signed a contract with the company and you have you are abided by those you know you are, you have to abide by those rules and regulations and even if government has told you know to the employees that these are the labor laws they have to abide by those so some government aspects or some social contract driven abiding the rules to maintain the common grounds are also actually a very crucial stage to uh, you know in the development of the ethical standards in the business so this is one mo more important thing and then the interactions are viewed as transactional in nature and based on values so this is something very important so based on when you're interacting with someone all right so transactional interactions I, I don't know if you have heard about it or not but transactional interactions are very important concepts when we are talking about in business because when you talk to people are you focused on the transaction or your interaction a transactional encounter is one in which you're just going through the motions to get the task or discourse done interaction occurs when two people are engaged in a dialogue or actively participating in the process right but we need to see that interactions are viewed as transactional in nature and based on rules so you need to make sure that you're getting the work done so the government is making sure that they're getting the work done and they're not just having interactions but the the, the interaction are basically being viewed as the transactions all right so social contract driven that is abiding by rules to maintain the common ground is another very important point all right moving on to our second last point that is the conscience orientation universal laws of conduct predicted upon a sense of justice and not rules alone so consider the golden rule stage all right i'm going to read this and i'm going to explain it to you that what does this mean all right and you know you can then easily understand the concepts so the basically original statement of golden rule is in the herbu tora shows a rule not an ethical principle much less than sort of the ethical philosophers so i'll tell you what this basically means but i want you to also put some you know a uh, light on yourself and the understand that basically a golden rule is a philosophy for leading one's life that suggests that other people should be treated fairly and with respect essentially people act for good, for the good of others uh you know because they would like to be treated in the same way so people they you know basically perform and act in a way that is good for other people because they want to be treated the same way they they want to have the same respect as well so that is the reason that this is what this was the golden rule philosophy is there that it's a golden rule that you're going to treat people with good orientation good manners and you know they're going to treat you the same so conscience orientation universal laws of conduct predicted upon a sense of justice and not rules alone so predicted on one's ability to empathize and see issues from another's perspective anchored by sense of justice i think we have already discussed this in detail now realm of values of driven relationship so values driven relationship or leadership is very important that there need to be some values that needs to be set that are the values of the ethical standards which are then uh, as a you know together are redeemed and they are the ones that are taken in the business and taken ahead so this is very important the other one is maintaining the social order in this stage laws and social order reign supreme rules and regulations are to be followed and obeyed so it shows a moral development of a person as a part of the whole society each person becomes more aware of the impact of everyone's actions on others and focuses now on their own role all right so everyone knows that they, there would be an impact of each other's in, uh, actions to the business to each other to the environment you know we say we use this word uh, many times in businesses as well that the environment is very suffocating the environment is very toxic now this is a very bad word but it shows each person becomes aware that the impact of everyone's actions is going to create that sort of environment whether it's going to be a healthy environment or it's going to be a toxic environment for you to work in right so this is the maintaining the social order then this stage the laws and social order reign supreme rules and regulations are to be followed and obeyed it shows the moral development of a person as a part of the whole society now uh, i just like to tell you once again what we have done so far so we have that's some great points when we were talking about the stages and development of ethical standards in business we have talked about simple obedience we have talked about conformity to group behavior we have talked about good boy or good girl orientation we have talked about social uh, contract driven abiding by rules to maintain the common grounds conscience orientation universal laws of conduct predicted predicted upon uh, you know a sense of justice 
and not rules alone and then the last one that we did here was maintaining the social order i hope it's clear to everyone i hope everyone has understood uh, you know what this uh, i my aim was to actually enlighten you with this with the business the stages that are involved in the business ethics and i hope that all lectures uh, were helpful for you and until next time i'll be back with the new lecture just share your feedback thank you very much have a wonderful day